Hi again, everyone. I am recording this uh, in case I did not get to get not get to address small bowel disease in relation to anemia and the Schilling test. So I'm going to try to go through these pretty quickly for those of you that prefer to uh, to hear it instead of read it on a slide. Um, small bowel disease patients often end up with some type of anemia that's um, often related to a problem with iron or B12 absorption. Iron is um, something that's lost when we see chronic inflammation and anemia of chronic disease with small bowel disease and then B12 um, deficiency is also very common because it's absorbed in the ileum. This is a flow chart that you should already be very familiar with. Um, by the time you take the pants, you should be able to almost recite this in your mind. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, microcytic and macrocytic anemias because those relate to iron deficiency oh. and B12 deficiency. The moral of this slide is if you see macrocytic anemia in a patient that you're working up for small bowel disease, you should be wondering about B12 deficiency, folate deficiency, um, specifically we're going to talk about B12, and then if you see a microcytic or an anemia of chronic disease, you should be suspicious of iron deficiency. Um, I'm going to breeze over this slide, but the key thing that you really need to know in relation to the Schilling test, which is what we're going to be talking about, is that in order to absorb B12 into the distal ileum, intrinsic factor has to be um, present. And intrinsic factor comes from the parietal cells. There are more causes than just lack of intrinsic factor for vitamin B12 malabsorption, and they are listed here and are related to problems with the steps in the absorption. So B12 deficiency can, can result from reduced dietary intake. It's um, common in strict vegans because they're not taking in meat, eggs, um, dairy, etc. And B12 stores are, they run out after two to three years. Alcoholics can also be deficient in B12 because they're deficient in a lot of things from just a poor diet in general. Um, you can have increased demand for vitamin B12, which can happen in pregnancy. A lot of women, when you ask them if they've ever had anemia, they'll say, oh yeah, when I was pregnant. And that's pretty much everybody. Um, you can also have decreased absorption of the vitamin B12. And you'll have that if there are problems in the terminal ileum, which is common in celiac and Crohn's. Uh, Crohn's iron deficiency is more common than B12, however. And the last thing is decreased intrinsic factor, which is also known as pernicious anemia. And we're going to talk about the test to find, find that diagnosis. So that's called the Schilling test. It's a test completed in specific stages to determine the actual cause of the B12 malabsorption. Um, basically, the stages of the test allow you to assess the integrity of gastric, pancreatic, ileal function in those stages. This is a really good diagram that I got from one of my favorite books in PA school, PA school called Clinical Path of Phys Physiology Made Ridiculously Simple. Um, you can ignore my PA school handwriting and just pay more attention to the actual diagrams. But basically, this is a test where an intramuscular injection of non-radio-labeled vitamin B12 is given to a patient in order to saturate the liver stores with vitamin B12 because what you want to focus on is vitamin B12 going in through the mouth and out the urine. So you don't want it to um, take a detour and get stuck in the liver. You just want to see if it can get through the digestive system. So in a normal healthy patient, you would give them radioactive vitamin B12 by mouth. It would go through the digestive system, be absorbed in the terminal ileum as long as intrinsic factor is present, and you would see that radio-labeled vitamin B12 in the urine. However, in a patient who lacks intrinsic factor, when you put the radio-labeled 
vitamin B12 in, because the intrinsic factor is not present, it never gets absorbed into the terminal ileum and you're, you end up with urine that does not have vitamin B12, radio-labeled vitamin B12 in it. Um, so you know, you know there's a problem with the absorption. So the next step is why is there no intrinsic factor? So with this step, you, you give them intrinsic factor. You see, is, is it just the presence of intrinsic factor that's needed in order to get the vitamin B12 absorbed? So in the second phase of the test, you give the radio-labeled vitamin B12 with the intrinsic factor. If the production and presence of intrinsic factor is the problem, then it should allow the vitamin B12 to now be absorbed and be present in the urine. So if you put B12 plus intrinsic factor in and you get B12 absorption when you did not previously, that means the person has an intrinsic factor deficiency and they have pernicious anemia. But let's say you added the intrinsic factor and you still got no radio-labeled vitamin B12 in the urine. That means there's some kind of an issue with the terminal ileum and you don't know what it is. So at this point, you can suspect small bowel um, intestinal overgrowth syndrome and you can trial two weeks of antibiotics and do this test again. If it's normal, then you know the reason that there were problems with absorption in the ileum was because of the bacterial overgrowth. If it's still abnormal, you can suspect pancreatic insufficiency um, and you know, do your full pancreatic and pancreatic insufficiency workup that we talked about earlier. Uh, you may even at this point, um, you could also branch off and say, oh, I want to check for celiac. Maybe that's why, because there's an actual you know, mucosal issue that doesn't allow absorption. Um, but that, this is, you know, a nice little summary slide of how to understand the Schilling test. The rest of these just describe what I said to you in, uh, in more detail, and then we've already gone over this. So I hope you guys all feel much more comfortable recognizing and working up a patient with small bowel disease, and hopefully I'll see you again.